Uh, we, as we start our career, we have to develop, uh, we have to have to set up a goal for ourselves. And the idea I want to discuss and focus on that your goal should be a life spanning goal. It should be not a goal, for example, to win a competition, to be number one student, to be etc. Your life, you should think about your life as a whole. You should uh, see this is what I do. I want to see my life at the end of my life to look back uh, as a video and see what exactly I have done. I have to leave, uh, in my opinion, an iconic legacy behind me. When I leave this world, uh, I am re remembered not as, uh, okay, I'm rem I have impacted the society, I have contributed to the people around me, I have made development to the uh, people, uh, most important here, people, uh, that we uh, grow and help our society flourish. Okay. And the idea is simple. When uh, I started my career, I wanted really, uh, I was uh, very much interested in the unmanned uh, autonomous systems and uh, since long time. And I was really uh, interested in start, uh, starting this technology in the region. Uh, this was uh, 19... Uh, uh, in 91, when I started a project basically in Jordan, uh, okay, when I came back and we said, okay, we have really to start this and uh, this is basically transforming technology and this is the future. Uh, Everybody is going in this uh, direction and uh, we can foresee like in 30 years that machines and people really when they are inter integrated uh, together and they are autonomous okay they, 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 all these machines they can make our life much easier and also they can empower us make us more secure and so on and so forth so i started uh, the proposal uh, when i came uh, to jordan and joined uh, the Ameri uh, jordan university of science and technology as a, a professor i put this proposal to start uh, the unmanned uh, system technology in uh, Jordan. I uh, I put a lot of effort in trying to convince people that this is the future, this is what we need to invest in, and this is where we are going, uh, you know, and especially for the uh, for the country, and it is a platform also that you can, for the education platform that can integrate, it's a multi-system, it's an integrated, it's a system of system that really what everybody uh, integrates all, uh, you know, people together, whether mechanical, electrical, computer, chemical, oh, so it's one team. So, uh, so I started this project back uh, then, 1991. I was lucky at that time to get funding uh, from the university. But uh, I know uh, when I was speaking to my colleagues, I know that this is not a, a one-man show and one-man job, so you have to put a team together. It was really extremely difficult to put a team together because, uh, you know, uh, first people saw, uh, many people saw this as a hype. Uh, how can we do Especially some of the technologies were just emerging, like MEMS technology, uh, embedded system technology was there, but it was not as grown up as today. But uh, there were some key technologies that is needed for this uh, project. So we uh, were lucky to get a uh, team together and start to work. The only problem we had, we did not have funding. And you know, uh, without funding, you cannot do anything. You have to have at least minimum funding that you do. Uh, this project, so we are running after the junkyards and things like this to bring, you know, pieces and set, uh, put them together, try to save money and uh, make this project. So uh, this was uh, one of, of uh, you know, the light testing that we we're doing. Uh, you know, if you know Jordan, uh, the university is North Jordan and this site is uh, uh, on the Iraqi border. So we had to go and uh, do flight testing. There and, uh, you know, we had people are very dedicated, the team was very dedicated uh, to this project, but uh, the 
uh, problem is uh, really what the funding and in 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 this uh, is, uh, you know projects you have to have uh, i think three key things to your success and these things you shouldn't undermine first you have to have passion for what you do for your idea you have to the passion for it it's not enough you have to be patient uh, about it and you have to patience meaning facing hardship with with the resilience with the, uh, determination okay and also you have to have perseverance uh, and perseverance is to mitigate basically obstacles and find ways around them okay so and this will you know will ma make you basically satisfied that you are doing what you can do and uh, you are putting the effort and uh, things will come and and i was uh, uh, sure that things would come uh, this uh, to care, uh, to keep the, the story short, you can uh, tell me about the time. To keep the story short, I moved. Uh, um, it was really difficult to do this in Jordan, so I moved to Gulf countries, and I uh, ended up uh, one of my uh, st stations, AWAS, uh, and this is my uh, the highlight of my career. I think it was AWAS when I, we started here uh, for many reasons. Uh, again, my focus was this idea, was, was this lifelong idea, and many, many of my colleagues here, they know this, uh, that we need to grow the uh, unmanned system technologies, and there are support technologies that, you see, when you talk about unmanned system a drone, it is not, you know, the drone itself, it is what is in this drone, what can this drone do, what are the systems that support this drone. So, we had many... Uh, excellent uh, students uh, working on these projects. Uh, I, I, this is one uh, one, one uh, picture, okay, but I had many, many, uh, you know, excellent uh, group students, some of them that are entrepreneurs now, they have their own companies, and some of them, they uh, are in elite companies like senior designers and so on uh, in this picture. Uh, I don't want to name, but there are uh, some of them. And uh, maybe some my colleagues they recognize. So it was really a joy to see that we are adding value, we are developing people, and we are bringing them together. Uh, okay, we are making them learn this technology. And uh, I can point to some of the very successful companies here that were led by the, some of these students. Okay. Uh, graduates, of course, now, and uh, maybe my colleagues know uh, some of them. Okay, then, uh, uh, you know, after, uh, uh, you know, working at AO, establishing some of the, you know, facility around this mechatronic center, aerospace uh, uh, lab, etc., uh, I was advised by uh, some of our stakeholders that why you don't start a uh, business. Okay, and I, in my mind, I did not care whether I start a business or somebody else start a business. My, co my goal is the technology itself. Whether I do it or somebody else do it, does it, it is the same. I want to really to, to, to contribute to this technology and make sure that we are able and capable of uh, contributing to this futuristic technology and back then. So I submitted a proposal. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you know, and he uh, helped me to carry this proposal to the sponsoring agency, and it was rejected for uh, reasons I don't want to talk about. Uh, but, okay, then I stopped, okay, and I thought this is maybe the opportunity for me to achieve, uh, to work towards my long life uh, goal is the establishing my own company, so I started this in Jordan. I did the business in Jordan, and why in Jordan? Because I can control my expenses, and I have, uh, you know, the uh, engineering workforce is good there. So we started with four uh, engineers, and we have developed, we started to develop, uh, okay, uh, the technology, and uh, basically I was focusing at that time on the uh, uh, flight controls and uh, mission planning and so on and so forth. Uh, in the process, 
I had to generate funding for the, we have to generate funding, so we started to provide services for this aircraft, using this aircraft to the community, like mapping services, surveying services, inspection services, and we were very successful, it, it, it did not generate enough for us, but it was generating enough for me to, to basically keep this, uh, you know, idea hanging and support uh, the, my idea and spend uh, uh, from my personal funds. Uh, uh, well, we started to do some work. Uh, we were contacted by, you know, uh, uh, groups here, companies here to work with them, and we started working with it on this, uh, uh, you know, vehicle, which is, uh, 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 you know, and other projects, of course. Initially, we started to work with them, smaller projects, but they saw the capability we have there, contact there, give us to design, build, and fly basically uh, 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 700 kilogram uh, aircraft with uh, uh, that can fly for 24 hours, 20,000 uh, foot altitude uh, and um, 200 kilometer communication range. So we did, uh, we worked on this project and hope, uh, <laughs> alhamdulillah, uh, this project was just flown on time and in, in, in record time. Uh, compared with similar projects uh, around the world, we managed to do this in one year, okay? And uh, uh, to fly this uh, first prototype within uh, one year, we flew it uh, before the ID 2023, and uh, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed, uh, he uh, privileged us by uh, coming uh, and signing on this uh, uh, on this vehicle, and it is now uh, under production in the production process, um, uh, and it will serve in, uh, in the region and elsewhere. Also, we, uh, you know, uh, we did further uh, work on the bigger platform that we are working on, and this was shown in the uh, on the. Uh, uh, on the uh, in the air show at Zamokam. But the key point here is the people that worked on this. The company grew from, I told you, when uh, in 2018 it was probably 12 people. Now we have 45 engineers working and we are hiring more. Okay, so we have a full rich company, basically, engineering company that is really uh, with uh, a vision and dedication to develop unmanned systems in different uh, sectors, whether we are doing design or uh, flight control systems or some of the support system for uh, uh, this. So that's uh, what I want to tell you. Uh, um, uh, and uh, uh, the idea here, I want to say that uh, keep your goal uh, to span your life. Don't uh, and, uh, put a time bounded, uh, space bounded goal because this will it will you, uh, it make you happy for a short period of time, but after what, uh, what you do. So you have to really keep uh, focus and uh, make this goal and work towards uh, your goal and make sure that you are patient, you are passionate about it, you are patient and you have perseverance. Okay, this will ensure uh, that you will achieve your goal.